Okay, I apologize in advance for the horrible lighting, but it is the best I can do for right now. So today, in the um, spirit of Valentine's Day, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these really adorable little Minnie Mouse pieces. And they have little, um, cute little felt bows on them. And, yes. So, these are resin. So if you want to see how I did these, please stay tuned. Before you even open your bottle of resin, what I'm going to demand that you guys do is put on your nitrile gloves. Nitrile, not latex, nitrile gloves. And your um, vapor-proof masks. And if you guys do not have these or don't know where to get them, you're most likely able to find them online, of course. But um, your local hardware store should have nitrile gloves and vapor-proof masks. So make sure you guys do not forget to wear those. Safety first resin is very toxic. So thank you guys for putting on your safety gear and let's get started. So now that all my protective gear is on, the things that I'm going to be needing for this are a stirring stick for my resin and I'm just going to use this needle tool or this little dotting tool. I'm going to be needing my Disney silicone mold. If you do not have this, unfortunately I don't know where you can get it. Maybe search online for it. Um, you're going to be needing any black glitter and the color bling. Now you don't have to use the exact same colors as I'm using. This is just um, how I ended up doing it. You're going to need a, this is my half a cup of, or half a water bottle cut in half. I just like to recycle all my plastic, so this is what I use to stir my resin in. You are of course going to be needing your resin and your hardener, so I use Envirotex Light. And last but not least, you're going to be needing some kind of bows of any color of your choosing. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take our Envirotex Light or any resin of your choosing. I have my resin and my hardener. These are the big bottles so you can't fit the whole bottle into the screen. I'm going to carefully unscrew the top and Depending on how much resin you pour, or how many resin pieces you are deciding to make, is depending on how much resin you're going to pour out of the bottle. So, I'm only going to make a couple pieces, so I'm not going to pour that much out. Now I'm going to go ahead and pour the exact same amount of the hardener. So I have a little method on um, how to make sure that I poured the exact same amount of resin on both sides. So what I like to do is I like to take my flashlight. This is, everyone asks why I like to use a flashlight when I do resin. Well, here is the answer. You take your flashlight and you shine it on the bottles of resin. Do you see how you can see? And you're going to see the lines. So here's this line and here's this line. You can see the fill lines of how much is left in each bottle. And when you're pouring, if you pour the exact same amount, the line should line up all the way again. If one is taller, then you need to pour the one that is taller a little bit more. Once the lines are evenly matched, then you know you've poured the exact same amount of each one into the bottle and you are ready to stir. Okay, so now that I have the exact same amount of both resin and hardener into my bottle, you guys are going to see that it is really super clear, right? You guys see that it's just plain clear, almost looks like water. You'll see as I start to stir it, do you see all those little lines that appear? And now it's starting to become foggy. See, it's not as clear anymore and it's all foggy. You are basically going to stir slowly until your resin is all the way clear again. Once it's all the way clear, then you know that um, you've mixed it in thoroughly. Because if you don't mix it in thoroughly, then you run the risk of having it be sticky once it's fully cured. So let's just stir it together until it's clear again and I will be right back. Okay, so now for the fun part. Now that the resin is fully stirred together, we're going to take our glitter. So for this particular um, mix, we're just going to be using black and bling. So first, we're going to open up the black and it's going to be mostly black, so go ahead and pour your black glitter into the resin. And we're going to stir it in. And this is just one of the ways that you can um, color your, your resin. You can 
can use any type of glitter that you want. But any glitter is good glitter in my book. So I'm going to add a little bit more black. Stir that in. Now I'm going to add some bling. This is one of my favorite colors of all time other than like tinsel glitter. And everyone says that this kind of makes it look like a galaxy, which I think is pretty cool. So you just keep mixing this till you think it's thoroughly mixed. So I think this is pretty much done. We are going to take our Mickey Mouse um, silicone molds and we are going to just pour in resin um, until we think that it's enough. So take a handy dandy baby wipe and you're going to just clean off your stirring stick so that you are able to use it again and it's just not like a big clumpy resin mess. And that little pour that I did that you guys saw, it ended up filling up every single mold on this Mickey mold so I thought that was pretty cool. So we are going to now wait approximately 12 hours so yeah that's a pretty long time. And I will be back to show you guys the rest of the process once these are done curing. So it's been approximately 12 hours, um, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, but it is now morning time so the lighting is a little bit better. Um, this is what they look like now. And let's just start popping them out. So this is a silicone mold. It's going to be very easy. All you have to do is pull away from the sides like so and they pop out like this. Whoa. And they're just super flexible, so they pop out really easily. So they're all out. They all look like this. So for the purpose of time-saving qualities, I'm not going to show you how to dome these today in this video, but I do have other doming technique videos so you guys can watch those. I'm just going to show you exactly how I decorate these to make them look a little bit more Valentine's Day-like. So let's get started. So what we're going to need is our resin pieces that we just popped out. Um, I'm going to be using a resin bow that I poured a while ago that's kind of like a Minnie Mouse bow. I'm going to be using these... Um, cute ribbon bows that I got from Daiso. They were only $1.50. And I'm also going to be using these cute little bows that I also got from Daiso that were also $1.50. They came with 20 pieces inside. So, But since it's like Valentine's, I think pink and red goes best together with everything. So first of all, you're going to need your E6000. This is a very strong adhesive and it does have a smell to it. So if you want to wear gloves for this, that is recommended. You don't have to because it's not as toxic but try not to like inhale it because that's not very good for you. So try to keep your area ventilated and try not to get this all over your hands when you do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and glue this bow onto here. So it really all depends on you how you want to um, go ahead and glue things on or if you want to just leave it how it is. I think they look cute either way, but just apply a little bit of glue onto the resin piece like so and then flip it over decide where you want it and then place and this is the really gigantic piece so it's like mm, so you see this packet of bows it's about that big so, but I think it's adorable. And thumbs up this video if you guys want to see me doming these. I can make a different video for that. 
Next, with a ribbon bow, this is the back side. I'm going to put a little dot of glue onto the back side of this piece. I'm just going to flip it over. I'm going to place and I'm going to set. So that is what this one looks like. See how simple and easy this is? And these are perfect for Valentine's Day, great for gifts. This time I'm gonna use this checkered felt bow on this piece, so a little bit of glue. Remember, you don't have to put that much because it's gonna, it's really strong, so it's gonna last anyways. You place it where you want it, and you press. Now for these little cabochons, you can choose to leave them like this because they are very Valentine's Day themselves. This one says love, this one says XOXOXO, and this one says love but in a different form. So these ones are just plain, but you could choose to add a bow to any of them or just add crystals. It doesn't really matter. It's up to you. everything all decorated and I hope you guys enjoyed this very simple tutorial. It is perfect for Valentine's Day. Um, don't forget to think about these as cabochons. You can use them for deco denning anything you want. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this and happy Valentine's Day.